Hello everyone, and welcome back to my colonization series in Corolla Space Program 0.90 Beta. In this episode, well, I'm gonna start off with trying to get the Explorer X back on this trajectory after finding it weirdly on a trajectory seemingly to Jewel, but not quite. Uh, I checked the video uh, from when I did the maneuvers with the Explorer X and nothing seemed weird, and the alarm that I set was correct. So I have no idea how the Explorer X got on this trajectory. Uh, I'm sure there's some explanation somewhere. I didn't see any ex explanation from the comments, so nobody else noticed anything as far as I can tell. So here we are, we've got about a 1500 meter per second Delta V uh, maneuver in 3 days and 20 hours, and that will bring us down to this orbit here, which allows for a Kerbin encounter there. Uh, not the ideal encounter, but uh, we'll take what we can get at this point. The net goal is to make sure that we don't run out of supplies. And if we take a look at our supply situation, we'll move curb alarm clock for now. We see that the Explorer X has 519 days, which is pretty good. And our Kerbin encounter is in 176 days. So that should be safe. And uh, yeah, so that is going to be our plan. Let me get it over to maneuver node. But you'll notice, I mean, every time I look at this, it looks glitchy, right? I'm sure it's just, well, no, I'm not sure it's just as glitchy. I think the engines were actually somewhat more on the pods. It just looks worse and worse every time. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty bad. We'll see how it works. But yeah, it really does look worse and worse every time. But anyway, let me get to the maneuver node, and we'll start this thing off. Okay, I'm not too sure how long this burn will take, especially since... I don't know whether the apparent engine offsets here might cause a problem and require me to throttle lower. So let me just start out here. Considering we're on a on a huge orbit like this, I think a five minute difference is gonna isn't gonna be too bad, and I can correct it during the burn. So here we go. Okay, it looks stable. These appear to have actual flames inside. This one, I have no idea what's going on with this one. I think I gotta tone it down a little bit. It's not pointing quite at the vector. Okay, here we go. About 10 seconds left in this burn. Okay, 50. Um. Let me see what it would take in the current system to fix the rest and get it all nice and neat. Okay, well, I've got the, the Explorer X heading back home now. And it looks like we've got... I just made the alarm for the SOI change, uh, which is in 172 days and 9 hours. That's not the mid-course plane change I was intending on, but... Uh, if we can get them back before their supplies runs out, supply runs out, I think that would be good. So uh, Chabro and Podzer, uh, hopefully we'll stay safe. And with that, let's turn to our other activities, which are... I'm not going to do this asteroid. Uh, we're going to go with the EVE mission here. And so starting off with the EVE Lander 2. Okay, so here we are with the EVE Lander 2, and just a reminder, the goal of this is simply to fulfill this e Explore EVE contract, and do that by transmitting or recovering scientific data from the surface of EVE. It's got a parachute to get through the atmosphere of EVE. It isn't uh, something I intended to bring back to Kerbin, I don't think. It just has little uh, jets to make sure that it can make the landing safely and it will land on its heat shield so it doesn't have lander legs. Okay, so that is the reminder of what this is all about. Otherwise, fully featured with lots of science available. And let's get into East Sphere of Influence. Now, the science drones are gonna follow up and they have the duty of getting into range for the other contract. This take pressure readings in flight above those locations. Now, so before I bring these two in, I want to make sure that the science drones are actually on a trajectory that will get them to those locations. I forget if I did that properly. So let me go over there and see that their inclination entering the EVE system 
will get them to where they need to be. Now granted they seem to have quite a lot of delta v in order to help them correct if they are not on the right trajectory, but let's take a look. Um, they don't even seem to have an encounter with Eve right now. Really? Now that's certainly not right. Okay, well, heck, alright, if that's how it's gonna be, that's how it's gonna be. Let me plot to try and make an encounter. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be an encounter at that ascending node. It's possible it's one of those situations where there are where the system just doesn't like to show me the encounter but yeah this is quite worrying so let me take some time to fiddle with this well I don't understand this at all uh, I can get an even encounter in 10 days even if I burn out the stage and a little bit more that seems a bit excessive I don't know why it didn't have it doesn't have anything remotely available where my original plot was. I can't seem to get that working right. So it looks like the Explorer X is not the only vehicle, especially when it comes to EVE, that doesn't seem to have its right trajectory. Let me pop out to the tracking station to see how many vehicles have been affected. Well, it looks like the EVE lander doesn't have anything going at all when it comes to EVE. Science drone was next, and we know that doesn't. How about the Gilly Water Fountain? Yeah, doesn't seem to have any encounter there. Quad Probe Pack does have an encounter with Jewel. Bop Probe does. Paul Probe does. Jewel Oasis is fine. Paul Water Fountain is fine. Jewel Supply is fine. Space Gamma as the asteroid. Okay, well, so, and then uh, how about the Dres rover? That's fine. And a Dres CRT is fine. So it's only the EVE related vehicles. Everything to do with EVE. The Explorer X, the EVE lander, EVE science, and Gilly water fountain are all in sort of a bit of trouble. I'm not entirely understanding why. So let me take a little bit of time to work on this and I'll come back to you with the result. Well now here we see some blinking. Now we've got a uh, closest approach there at uh, 24 days but also another one here at 13 days. Still the alarm was for that one. We were supposed to be aiming for that one. So I don't know. Let me see if I can make this one work though. Well the situation I've got here seems similar to what I had with the Eve Science drone. In other words uh, I can get uh, periapsis 355 kilometers if I'm willing to burn 525 meters per second or so. So, well, I don't see any choice unless I want to like try and go around and do it some other time. So I'll take this opportunity and do it, though it'll cost me the remainder of this stage and part of the lander stage. Good thing I had those thrusters angled out like that. Not really what I want to do, but all right. I guess we'll try this. So let me get this set up and then we'll do this burn. I don't know what we're gonna do with the Gilly Water Fountain. I hope it has enough. I know that the Science Drone Assembly has enough juice. Don't know if the Gilly Water Fountain does. Okay, here we go. All right, stage set. Okay, let's see how things are going. All right, 210 kilometers. I guess we'll get to 112 is good. 112 is good. Um yeah, I want to be careful about getting into the atmosphere of EVE, so we'll do that once we get into EVE's sphere of influence. So I'll just add this alarm for 11 days. Alright, 
let's fix up the Eve Science Drone. Okay, as expected, same sort of deal here, actually less than I thought it would be. So we'll still be on this launch stage actually. Uh, but it'll take us a little bit of time to get to the node maybe. Alright, and that's in four hours. Okay, here we go. Wow, that isn't as much acceleration as I thought I would get from a main sail. With 50 tons on it. Yeah, not the acceleration I expected. Oh wait, aha, it's because I had a thrust limited, that's why. There we go. Now... This isn't inclined enough to hit those spots. Hmm... Let me make a new maneuver to adjust that. Okay, that would do the trick a little bit better. Yep, definitely cover that area. Okay, that'll do. All right, so now we've got a polar orbit, which should definitely allow us to hit those locations. It'd be nice to have exactly the inclination that would sort of take them out in a row, but we'll try this. Okay, add SOI change. Now the tough one. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Our initial burn to correct will be about 283 meters per second. And looking at the chance for orbit, that'll take another 600 meters per second. And we're keeping it loose so that we can meet up with Gilly, because this is the Gilly water fountain. So yeah, that's the plan. Let me try and make this burn. Okay, went past it a bit, but here we go. Okay. And the last bit of that burn was to minimize the inclination with uh, Gilly. So that's our situation and we'll make orbit at periapsis but let's get the SOI change alarm. Okay so the order of events is basically the same and we'll do the entire EVE lander mission first. I think uh, the distance between entry into SOI and the periapsis should be quick enough that that whole mission should happen first. Alright, let's get this pointed to prograde. And switch vessels. Okay, I was just warping in with the EVE Lander 2, but we got the the TAC life support warning for Mooner Station 1. I think it's just because Mooner Station 1 has such a huge capacity that it's reached the first warning indication 71 days before it's time to check up on it. I mean, time to refill it. Uh, 60 days before we had planned to uh, check up on it and get food to it. But anyway, let us continue. Okay, so Eve Periapsis 105. Uh, let's take a look at making manual orbit with this thing instead of immediately error breaking. Let me just check how much that would cost. Not that we can't just head straight in, mind you. He's want, wanted me to get to that probe, but I just want to maneuver. Ah, uh, yeah, it's better to air break. Okay, I'm going to bring it to 70 kilometers. Okay, so there we go. Retrograde it. Okay, I think that's Eve right there. I'll keep the solar panels out for now. Let's see what happens. Okay, approaching Eve now. Let me get those solar panels back in. 
Okay, we are retrograde. Should be entering. We should be in the atmosphere of Eve. Let's orient properly. I think we should uh, do the parachute before dropping the heat shield. Might not drop the heat shield at all, depending. Okay, here's where all the fun begins. So yeah, I have no idea what happened with the Explorer X or with these missions. I guess there's just something about Eve, I don't know. Uh, did it just shift on us suddenly? No clue. Well, at least we're here now. I'll be happy once we get the Explorer X back to Kerbin. I want to make sure the Kerbals are safe. So far, the heat not touching our blade of shielding. Looks like we might be going down after all. So it looks like we had a straight in trajectory and we will be landing in the Explodium Sea, I guess it's called, ominously. Yep, the air brake was a bit too deep, but hopefully it'll be alright. We don't actually have a gravioli or some of the other instruments on here, it's just a thermometer. This was sent up a while ago. Let's observe Mystery Goo. I wonder if it's safe. Let me keep that. Uh, no, let's transmit, I guess. It should be safe, right? In realism overhaul, the antenna would break. All good. I'm changing to surface retrograde instead of orbital retrograde. So if the Eve science drones, I think I should just get them to orbit first. And then turn to the e uh, Gilly water fountain. I don't want to... And we'll manually get them into orbit, not error breaking. And then we'll turn to the Gilly Water Fountain. We won't do their mission just yet, since they have to be lined up pretty precisely, and I don't want to be rushed. Well, I guess the ablative shielding helped in terms of center of mass, but we really didn't need it. Need the heat shield otherwise, so we didn't use any bit of it. Well. We do have environmental visual enhancements, so those look like real clouds. We've got clouds. Okay, here we go through the clouds. I haven't deployed parachute because it would slow things down even more. Nice fluffy clouds. Probably toxic, but still. Nice to have them here. Okay, below 3,000 meters now. Land is pretty far away. Pretty sure this texture is a final haze of clouds, or it's just a uh, water texture for the sea. Don't know when I should pop the parachute. We're going pretty slow already. Probably the engines would be enough to stop us. There is a suicide burn countdown. Though it doesn't seem to be changing very much. Yeah, I could slow down. Alright, well, let's let's release the parachute. There we go. Perhaps some temperature scan. Ah, 24 science. Okay, let's go with that. I'll save the remaining goo container and the Science Junior for the surface. That's actually a tank, so I think this heat shield, yeah, I could dump the heat shield. We could land directly on the tank. Don't think it's necessary though. Alright, full parachute deployment. And yeah, we're at safe velocities. We can make it even softer with the little thrusters. And just dumping fuel, really.
Okay, very good. Let us roll, maybe. Uh, oh, smart ASS off. Uh, so that the antenna's up. Probably doesn't matter. Observe materials bay. It's definitely getting a good look at the sea. The materials bay is directly in contact with the liquid. Uh, yep, let's transmit the data. Okay, looks like we have enough electric charge. Good, 40 science added and contract complete. We have successfully fulfilled Explore Eve. Yep, all good. Now let's do the other goo container and then the thermometer. 24 science here. And thermometer. 32 science. Thermometer is worth more than the goo. Oh, I didn't wait for the antenna to retract. All right, all done. Now, our other missions. So, this was successful at least. That's good. The science drones are gonna be trickier though. Okay, here we are with the science drones in Eve's sphere of influence. And the Gilly Water Fountain is coming in, so let me just uh, jump to that. Well, let's plot to see how much Delta V it'll take to get these into orbit. And then I'll jump to that. I'll make an alarm at periapsis here. Again, I'm going to make a manual orbit, no error break. And here, a relatively tight orbit takes 1,275 meters per second. Let's take a look at our stages. Hmm. Seems like we might have to error break. I don't know. Uh, what does this look like? Do we have a stage here? Is it not counting those two upper stages? How is it doing this? Yeah, I don't know how. Th th it only shows one stage here. I assume that's just this stage, in which case this will be easy. But I don't know why it's not counting the stuff up here. Or how it would. Okay, I think it's just counting this stage. So it should be alright. Okay, let me add that alarm. Okay, now for the water fountain. All right, we're here with the water fountain in Eve's sphere of influence as well, and orbit. Uh, we really want to focus on Eve instead of the mission. Uh oh, I think I clicked on the Explorer X. Okay, looks like we could probably burn to correct our inclination with Gilly about the same time we burn for orbit. It's not too far off. So let me combine those two a bit, see how much we can do. We won't be able to get an uh, immediate encounter with Gilly though. Looks like we can correct it down to... I, I want to keep the ascending node touching Gilly's, but maybe we don't need to do that. Let's minimize the situation instead of doing that. So the minimum inclination is about 3.6. Okay. And now we have a node like that and we can add that in. That's much later than the science drone. So let's go back to that. Okay. Let's get Smart ASS pointing at the node and then we will go for orbital burn with these drones. Here we go. Staging. Try that again. All right. Okay, I think that's enough. Apoapsis 180, periapsis 112 uh, should be safe, I believe. 
Uh, info. No, still Eve Science Drone. Oh well. I think it's alright. So, I don't have an alarm to put for this. We're gonna have to wait till Eve rotates in order to get to those spots. Yep, let's tune into the Gilly Water Fountain and get it into orbit. Uh, yeah, I, uh, well, I really want to put an alarm just to make sure I don't f totally forget about stuff, but I guess it'll be alright. I'll just have to remember for once. Okay, here we are at the node for this one, and we're keeping a safe distance from Eve because we want to transfer to Gilly, and getting close to Eve will just hinder that. So, here we go. Okay, here we go. And off. Alright. So there we have it. That will do for now. And next time I'll conclude with these two missions. The drone mission as well as this Eve, uh, Gilly Water Fountain mission. And that's because I'm, uh, I'm out of time, frankly. So, yeah, a little bit of a hitch. I was expecting to finish both missions in this episode, but we, well, Eve threw us for a loop again, and that's just how it is. So next time, uh, we'll see how those drones, I'm especially interested in whether those drones will work properly. Uh, this I have a little bit more faith in now that we've got it into orbit, though the transfer and matching speeds with uh, Gilly could take a little bit of juice. Let me just uh, estimate how much that's going to take. That seems roughly the same sized orbit. Yeah, something around there. So uh, it's probably going to be like 420 to 450, something around there. So that's what, what it's going to take to match speeds with Gilly once we get an encounter. So it should be doable, and uh, but so the science drones are the real question mark whether I can get that done, especially since we only have two but three locations. And I will rest up and make sure I'll try to get the next video out much quicker than I did this time. Uh, the main reason for the delay is, of course, because I have a new realism overhaul series that I've been doing stuff in, and that's posing challenges for basic stuff like getting to orbit and getting to the moon. So. That, uh, working on that and figuring things out there has engaged me for a while, but I think I've got that down to where I'm more comfortable with it, so I'll be able to focus on this again. Alright, so next time, lots of things to consider, and maybe we'll start off with a Dress mission. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.